everyone, so you might have seen my vlog on holiday on a cruise last week and I thought I would do a special video showing you the cruise library. Hi, let's go. They have a special library here on the cruise and I thought we could have a little look at it and see what kind of books they have, what kind of selection they have because I was thinking of doing a vlog where I read the books from here instead on the holiday but then I thought they might not have a good selection <laughs> so let's have a look and see what they have and um, see if there's anything that kind of is popular on booktube. They oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> the lighting may have changed a bit because we filmed the intro and then we found out that uh, the doors were locked. The door is closed! The door is closed! So we had to go away and a guy um, told us there was like a gin tasting thing in here today. So we've come back in the afternoon and he very kindly unlocked the doors for us. So we can look and see what books are in here now. So I thought we could have a little look and see what are you? Oh my God, that's a big See what the different books are. See if there's anything. Oh, the Starless Sea. I approve. Appropriate. One of my favorite books. You know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. I basically want to see if there's any that I've read, any that are on my TBR, and any that I've like heard good things about but aren't on my TBR. Because you kind of expect it all to be like what the uh, older population want to read. <laughs> From a quick glance, it feels like they have a good selection. Oh, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. One of the first ones I ever read. He's, that's a good cruise book, mm. I think. A good cruise one. Him and Ruth Ware, I feel like, are just the best, like, solid thriller authors. There was a book I saw, I had a little cheeky peek. <laughs> And there was a book I saw that I couldn't believe they had, but now I can't see it. They had The Dragon Republic by I. F. Huang, <laughs> which is the second in the Poppy War, but they didn't have the Poppy War. So I feel bad if anyone picks up The Dragon Republic and- It's in the box. Yeah, but I saw it here all week and now it's not here. I always love this cover. They have two new release thrillers. So these have both come out this year that I want to read. I could have totally done a vlog reading books from here. <laughs> I can't believe what a good selection they have. So Twyford Code is by the author of The Appeal. You like her style of covers, don't you? I think that's a great cover. Yeah, Might be it's the best cool. I've seen actually. This one's all to do with coding. The first one was all emails. Whereas I think a lot of this is like audio files and coding. Your software slays, by the way. And then this one, I'm not really sure what it's about, but it's a new release mystery. Mystery is always good for a cruise, I think. They've got a really good selection, you know. I'm actually surprised. Let's go and see. Yeah. There's a uh, color coding. Oh. They all look, they're all in red, to be honest, because most of them are fiction. <laughs> they have another one. This is a really new release mystery as well. The Apollo Murders. I almost got this. This is by an astronaut. Like an, he, what did he do? Oh, that's quite cool. One of the most seasoned and accomplished astronauts in the world. Oh, it's that guy. He used to make the songs on the, on the spaceship. Oh. <laughs> I almost got yeah. this. It's the YouTube man. I don't know him. He, uh, he was famous for singing uh, David Bowie in space in like about 2016, I think. Oh, well, I'm impressed by how many 2022 releases they have. I wouldn't expect that. Oh, The Furies? Isn't this YA? <laughs> yeah, it's just like a YA about girls and private schools and stuff like that. See, that's the kind of book I feel, like, I feel like if I were to come on a cruise, I wouldn't actually end up picking the books like the Twyford Code or whatever that I own, because what's the point? But I think I'd pick up books like this that I've just heard on the grapevine about, and I'd kind of pick up stuff on a whim. That, if I had done the vlog, I probably maybe would have picked that up. Oh, there it is! The Dragon Republic. Why do they have this? <laughs> Why they're still here is a bit of a mystery. Why don't they have the second in the series? But I have not seen the Poppy War anywhere. They don't have it. But they have this. <laughs> oh, the Grace Year? That's, oh. <laughs> I'm just giving it one of them. 
The Grace Year is one I've heard things about. Is this the one? Yes, this is one where girls at 16 are banished into the forest and they have to survive for a year. Isn't that crazy? A little bit cliche, but okay. Uh, Tom, give the tenant around, say you, you don't approve. Nah. <laughs> you can see me in the mirror. <laughs> he doesn't approve. Oh, it's got pine, Megs, pine. My favorite. Oh, Tom likes pine. He likes yeah, the, I cover. Like the cover. What, did you ever read it? No, I haven't read it yet. Well, isn't it about like some sort of cabin in the woods or something like that? No, it's about this um, dad and daughter who like pick up a woman who's like stumbling by the side of the road at night oh, yeah, and then it she turns disappears. Out to be like a thingamajiggy. Thingamajiggy. We have a CJ Tudor, another really great thriller author. I've read two CJ Tudors and they've both been four stars. So I that think that's a really strong lineup then. Yeah. You've got a lot of books you'd like here. I know, it is a really strong lineup. They've got a Miss Ruth Ware. The Turn of the Key, classic. The Turn of the Key. The first book I remember Me Megan reading. The first thriller book I ever read and the first vlog I ever did on my channel. That's a great, that's a good cruise. I'm reading Ruth Ware on the cruise and I think she's a great cruise pick. Let's have a look, let's have a look at our queen. Show me what she looks like. Bro, that's exactly what I imagined her looking like. <laughs> it's fabulous. I can see why the gays love her. I'm reading she likes The Woman in Cabin 10. Who is going to be brave enough to pick up this in a week? It's the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> How many pages? God no. Seven hundred could do it. Seven hundred Kayla could do it. You just beat her, you are. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> and she's good at you, I guess. Unlike Sam. Yeah, I feel very attacked! Relax. See again, this is like the second in a series. Why do they have loads of second in series? Again, this is like the third in the series, I think. That's a whopper. That Joe Wolf Hall. Yeah. This is the third in that book, that series. Theory Mantel. Yeah, right. We're into not fiction now. Okay. So I probably won't know any of this. I'm in a second. <laughs> but Tom, <laughs> vegan style? <laughs> oh, that's one I've always wanted to read. How to be anti-racist. I have the audiobook. I've had the audiobook for ages. anti-racist. Yeah. It's a cool front cover, that. It is. I've always wanted to read it. That might have been another one I picked up since I, I have the audio. I think I recognise the author's name. Let's see. If what else they've written? Founding director of the anti-racist. Yes, research. I've read that. I've read stamped. Oh yes, you've read stamped. Yeah, stamped's very good. Tom, Tom, in the mirror. Tom approved this time. I did. I did. <laughs> oh, Roaring Girls. This is one I've always seen about, and I think I have the audiobook on script. The Forgotten Feminists of British History. Well, that sounds quite cool. So Who's I think in it? This let is, me see. A... I think this is non-fiction. Yeah, I, I, that'd be my choice. I think that's the book I'd choose to read. These are the different women. Uh, Mary Estelle, yeah. yeah this would be a good pick. I have the audiobook on script. This, The Furies and The Gracier might have been the ones, or maybe The Other People by CJ Tudor would probably have been the ones I would have picked had I read from this on the holiday. Murder by the Book, what is that? That looks like non-fiction. What? <laughs> this sounds interesting. Early in the mornings of May 1840, in a Mayfair street, a footman answered the door to a panic-stricken maid from the nearby house. Her elderly master, Lord William Russell, was lying in bed with his throat cut so deeply that his head was almost severed. The whole of London, from Monarch to Street Urchin, was gripped by the gory details of the Russell murder. Wow! And this is like telling the story of the murder case, and it's non-fiction. That sounds interesting too. I like the cover as well. Yeah, really pretty, but a bit like uh, a peel. Mm, kind of. Wow, and there's pictures. Mm, she loves pictures. She loves pictures. Whoa. He screwed. But that's quite dramatic. We've got quite a lot of Nora Roberts. Shout out to Mara, who's like read every Nora Roberts book ever since. <laughs> I've never read one, but I do want to give Nora Roberts a go at some point. Oh! Look what they have. The Christie Affair by Nina Dragomont. This is a fictionalization of when Agatha Christie went missing for 11 days, and it was good. It was like a four star. It's not really a mystery. I would say it's more like fiction inspired by that event, but it was good. And it's written from the perspective of Agatha Christie's husband's mistress. Dead in Devon. Dead in Devon. Not only are you dead, but you're dead in Devon. Fucking hell, you decompose really rapidly. Oh, they have um, the Kingdom of Copper. Isn't this a seat? Is this the first? This isn't the, this is the second or third one as well. I can't complain. Actually, I can. This is the second one in the series. They have a thing about second ones in series. Chakrabati or Chakraborty? Yeah, S.A. Chakraborty. Hmm. This I is like a fantasy series. 
but why do they have all second ones? Okay, so I think that's us done, but I hope you enjoyed having a little look at what was in the cruise library. I think they had a they had a much better selection than I thought they would have. They had so many new releases, so many books that are like popular on booktube, like The Dragon Republic, <laughs> um, like Janice Hallett. Like they had a really good selection, I think. So let me know what you would have read. If you had come on the cruise and had the library here to pick what you read, what would you have picked up and read? I'd be really interested to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye! <laughs> Stop it. Okay. Okay.